can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 22nd question in the second set of the chapter 6. And we're still using the method section. So uh, usually when they give you a big, uh, big thing like this, right? Big bridges or sets. Don't be intimidated, uh, intimidated right? Uh, the reason we're doing sections is because we're making it extremely easy. And, you know, they're only going to ask you for so many forces, but most, most of the time it's going to just be three. So we're looking at JK, CJ, and CD. All right, determine the forces. Remember in these three forces which is mentioned in the truss and state whether they're in compression, which is a typical question. Right, so using the method section, we're going to cut it at where uh, we're going to solve the forces at, right, and draw a free body diagram. Now before we do that, my bad, uh, we always go, uh, you know, the step of uh, finding global uh, equilibrium, e equilibrium, equilibrium, hopefully I spelled it right, um, or no A with the I, I think that's how you do it. And um, since we're, we're most likely going to be using this side of the uh, thing, this side of the truss, because um, you know, usually we'll, we're trying to find the easier, easier one. Um, so let's of course just consider easier to calculate, right? Um, in this case, we don't really need the force at this side at G, right? We just need the force over here at A Y and A X. Look, there's no any other external force that counteracts a y. Now you might say, oh, there's internal forces, but you know, inter internal forces really cancels out in, uh, when it's in its uh, equilibrium uh, stage. So a x, we can already draw a conclusion equal to zero because that's the only force going to the x direction in this entire structure, right? So now if we want to find a way y, um, just use the sum of the moments at g, right, going Counterclockwise is a positive direction, um, so let's use a y. A y is going to the negative, right? So a y. So everything else is going to the positive. So we know that a y is the only force that can counteract this, 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 this force, right? So we can just set a y at one side of the equation and the rest of it equals the others, right? Because this force should equal to the moments of some of the all these forces. This moment is generated by a y. So a y is uh, how many meters? One, a uh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 times 12 meters, right? And um, equals 4k Newton uh, times 8 meters, right? No, this is 10. 4 uh, times 10. We're not going to write you know, the units anymore. You guys get the idea. So a, 5 times 8 uh, plus 8 times 4. Plus six times two, right? Oh, six. Oh, six times two, not plus two. All right, and in the end, plug everything in your calculator. A Y should really gives you um, what? Four point three, and the three goes on forever, so it's ten times one over three. Is correct and um, so or in I think in fractions is one uh, 124 over uh, 12 so that's a y right and we found all the forces we're gonna need for the right side of the um, truss so we're gonna draw a quick uh, what is this called section of the truss Right, one, well, yeah, one going this way, this is going this way, this, this, right, and a y is going upwards and with 10.3 newtons, 10.3 kilonewtons, right, over here is uh, 4, and over here is uh, 5. So, and so here we go, right. We can, one force is going here, one force is going here, one force is going here. Um, we can use 
the some of the moments at C. C is over here, right? So we get rid of three forces, and we already know these two, and that means uh, it will guarantee us to find uh, force JK. So JK times, well, let's see, some of the moments at C, right? Always write this down so you know what you're doing um, because trusses can really mess you up because it's not hard, it's just the amount, the quantity of the work, right? So going negative is the, going counterclockwise is the positive direction, so JK times three meters, right, is going to the negative, so it's minus, right? And, um, so yeah, this force is going this direction, so, and um, minus uh, ten point three k and uh, times four newtons, right? By the moments generated by a y, and plus, right? This force is going this direction counterclockwise, so plus four k n times uh, another two meters. In the end, uh, this all everything equals to zero. So in the end, JK uh, should give you negative 11.1 kilonewtons. That means we we got the magnitude right, we just draw the uh, direction of the force of JK uh, in uh, wrong, oppositely. Right, so JK uh, should be in, in there we go. This way, right? And JK should be is pushing on the joint, therefore, in reality, is being compressed. Um, so JK is compressing. And over here, we can write JK is 11.1 1, kilonewtons and is in compression, right? Now we can use uh, some of the forces in the y direction, uh, in the x direction, some of the forces. In x direction, going right is the positive uh, equal to zero. When the forces, so here force, this is a force. It's just JK. Oh shoot, we can't use that. Never mind. Sorry, got too excited. Uh, you, what we should do is use the some of the forces in the y direction. See, sometimes you make some mistakes like that, and you realize, oh, we can't do it. So we try the other one. Right, some of the forces in the y direction equals to zero, and and we can solve that, right? We have all the forces except one. So 10.3 uh, kilonewtons, right? Uh, this is going positive. Plus uh, this force over here, which is CJ. CJ times, well, tangent of, uh, inverse tangent of three over two should give you the, uh, the angle over here, we'll call it beta, uh, equals the beta, and beta should give you, plugging your calculator, beta should give you 56.3 degrees. So sine of 56.3 minus 4 kn, right? Minus 4 kn. So uh, this whole thing equal to zero. And CJ, in the end, you should have gotten um, negative 1.6 kilonewtons, right? Um, that means we draw, oh my gosh, we draw this direction uh, in the opposite direction as well. So in reality, it should be going this way, right? So CJ is 1.6 kilonewtons, and looking at the direction, it's pushing on the joint, same as KJ, right? because it's pushing on the joint as a reaction force because in reality it's being compressed, right? So it's a C. And CD, the last one, and now we can use the some of the forces in the X direction. Equal to zero, here we go. So, uh, what's JK again? JK is 11.1 .1 kilo newtons, right? Uh, plus 1.6 kilonewtons times the uh, cosine of the distance, right? The root 
trying to find the x force forcing the x axis. Uh, this whole thing should give you CD, right? Because CD is in the negative direction. We, you know, it has to be right. These forces has to cancel these forces out uh, to reach uh, equilibrium. So CD in the end, plug everything into your calculator, should give you uh, eleven point nine. Um, 11.9 kilonewtons. 11.9 kilonewtons. In and looking at the forces, right? It's you know, if I'm being stretched, my reaction is to pull, right? So this force is pulling on the joint. And that means it's being stretched. That means it's in tension. CD is in tension. Yeah, relatively easy question. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. And um, if you're reviewing for exams, hopefully it's brought back some memories. Hopefully I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.